Greetings, game girls and game boys. I am Contemplate, and this is the Dungeon of Dragon Knight. Okay, it's it's just titled Dungeon of Dragon Knight. Uh, the music is epic. Listen to that as I turn it down. Listen to it. <laughs> no, the music right here is really nice. But this is a game that uh, the developers or somebody associated with the developers sent me an email all like, hey, your channel's cool. Want to play a game? We'll send you a free code. And I was like, yeah, I do. And they're like, cool, just make a video about it. I'm like, okay, <laughs> sounds awesome. And here we are. They sent me the free code, so I downloaded it on Steam. And uh, yeah, now I'm going to play it. And I'm going to tell you guys just what I think of it. It's It seems pretty cool. It seems a lot like old school, uh, like the old like Nintendo style D&D game, Dungeons and Dragons game. Sort of in that vein. But let's get into it and we'll talk about it more. Alright, new player! Create characters. Old school mode. I don't know what that means. But we're just gonna go... New. Just gonna go new. Okay, so now we get to create our characters. Now, when I first played it, I was like, I can't do anything. I'm testing it to make sure it works, and it doesn't work! That's because I made two, like, I made some a passive character who didn't attack. So he wouldn't attack. So just, just... If it doesn't work for you, maybe you just have a character who does magic, but you don't know any magic yet, so... It's it's one of those things, like in uh, Morrowind. Back in Morrowind, if you didn't know how to play, it was the hardest freaking game. Like, it was impossible to hit anything, unless you were fighting with the weapon your character was set to be good with, and it still was tough as hell. Like, casting spells in Morrowind is like... <laughs> Like, five the five out of ten tries will be tries. Nine out of ten will fail if you don't know how to use magic. It's it's tough. This game reminds me a little bit of that. But let's let's get into uh, character creation. Moon Whisper. We're going to keep that name. We're going to keep... But we're going to change them to being a uh, mm, fighter. Moon Whisper the fighter. Wait, do we have a rogue? Ranger. Let's do Ranger. Moon Whisper. Okay, you've got two skill points to give, so let's put one in light armor, and mm, can I remove that? Can I can I put it somewhere else? No? Oh, there we go. Let's see, missile weapon. Uh, let's see. Increased damage of missile weapons by 20% for each skill point. Okay, boom. Yeah, we'll do that. Missile weapon. So I think this person's going to use uh, spells. I'm not sure. Uh, ability points left, 16. So each character is going to get your ability points. Don't forget... To do all of this it's important when you're creating your character it's important let's uh let's bring these this up uh two three four okay uh bring up charisma to 16. Uh, i'm doing them in even numbers because in DD at every even number you get a skill point increase i don't know if that's how this works at all but that's that's what i'm basing it on so i want to make him tougher so he can take more of a beating uh, let's, what else, uh, okay, we'll spend two here and two there, okay, so there we go, and, uh, it's cool, if you hover over the things, it'll kind of tell you what each thing is, fortitude, fortitude can increase resistance to continuous damage, will, will can increase resistance to spiritual attacks, and now we've got our trait point, I want him to be... Uh, <laughs> I don't know how many of these mean anything. This is the first time I've, like, I've never, I haven't put much time into this game. So, I want to give him poison resistance, and let's give him fast recovery. So, boom, Moon Whisper, Dragon Ranger. Okay, now let's go to our next character, Drachman. Now nah, we're good. Shaxis, Tordek. Let's go with Tordek. Let's get us a... That, that is not a fitting voice. Good, good. Oh my god. Those are terrible voices. Like, they should definitely be, Oh my god, you shall die. 
I am a dwarf and I am amazing. Look at my glorious beard. Or maybe I'm just being racist. I don't know. But either way, let's make this guy. We're going to definitely go with uh, dwarf, fighter, uh, Tordek, yes. Wait, why are your why is your strength so low? That's that's a bit of an oversight. Let's bring that up to like uh, uh, fourteen at least. Constitution good, 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 good. Wisdom. See, okay, he's still got the stats for the other class. That's what's happening here. Uh, no, no charisma. He doesn't need charisma. Let's let's even bring the charisma down. Give us a couple more points. Bring up the constitution to sixteen. Bring up strength to sixteen. This is gonna be our our powerhouse. Let's make it a little faster though. Uh, and let's make him more constitutous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's make him stronger. Oh, 18 is the max for strength, apparently. Uh, and let's bring his decks up. So he's going to be fast and strong and be able to take a beating and keep on heating your face up with attacks of pain. <clears throat> Heavy armor. Um, let's bring up his athletics. I don't know what this ring is in here. That kind of confuses me. But either way, let's make him aggressive and mighty. I like those traits. Let's go with those. Okay, everything's placed. Next character. Okay, this guy I definitely want to be my, uh... Ooh, maybe I'll go with this gal. What was that? All right, why not? She is a human. Yeah, human. Human, cleric, fighter, ranger, warlord. Let's make her a warlord. Why not? I don't know what that means, but we'll go with that. Okay, so let's bring her strength up so she's not sub 10. Let's bring up... Uh, okay, so what does this tell me about warlord? Does this... Hovering doesn't teach me anything? Well, that's not good. Hmm... I don't know if these, like, shift for, uh, like, what class you choose. Whatever. Let's speed through this, okay? I'm just going to fast forward through the rest. Okay, so the stats change with your choice of race, I just found. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Anyway, so here we go. Silver Frond, Elf, Cleric. Still need to put, put his points in, sorry. He's going to know all the magics and be super charismatic. And we'll bring his book smarts up. Okay, so we'll make him uh, healthy and skilled. And then we'll give him life magic, spirit magic, uh, dark magic, Praying. Increase your MP by 10 points for each skill point. At third level, your MP regenerates. Ooh, okay, cool. So here we go. Here's my team of four. We've got our Dragonborn. Let's actually change his face real quick. To this Moon Whisper, our Dragonborn Ranger. He's got all kinds of health and strength, and he's a good boy with light armor and fast recovery and poison resistance. And we've got our, uh, our Tor deck here. Who gets, oh, he gets those pluses. That's cool. Plus two. Because I think I, that's the athletics and heavy armor. Then we've got Hemo, the human warlord, woman lady, who is also good looking and strong memoried. And our elf boy, Silver Frond, who does the other stuff. Okay, let's just play. Let's do it. Let's get in there, guys. Let's make this good. It's going to be a, a war to remember. Everything is going to be grand tastical. Just simmer down. Everything will be great. Okay. Somehow, you and your expedition team went deep in the forest. Makes sense. You were exhausted after being lost for a long time. Also makes sense. But there was no way to get out of this dead place. Also makes sense. When everyone was desperate, a woman appeared in front Don't of you. Don't trust her. She told you that the house she lived was not far from here, where she could offer food and shelter to everyone. Nice of her. She's a, she's a witch, but the nice. The house was absolutely so simple that it seemed to be the entrance to a cave. Bum, bum, bum. But when you wanted to find this woman, she disappeared. Okay. You could no longer move forward. The team 
decided to rest here. Okay. However, uh -oh. when you pushed the door into the house, you realized that things were not what you thought they were. You mean a cave? Because that's what I thought they were. Dungeon of Dragon. Decent voice actor, but I think he could have read it better. Just, just my opinion. I'm being super like hypercritical of voice actors nowadays. Now that I want to be one, and I know I have a lot to learn. Greetings, my heroes. My name is Lula. Okay. Hi. I'm so sorry to put you in this situation. Oh. But I don't have other choices and can save the world only by myself only. It is very urgent and there's no time to suspect. There's a fallen dragon knight okay. named Soen in the depths of this dungeon. Okay. He has a magic weapon, can open the gate of hell and summon demons to destroy the world. Whoa. He will do it unless someone stops That's him. That's us. I can provide weapons, armors, and other stuff you need to support. <laughs> With your help, I believe we can make it. Please, go through the portals to find me. Okay. And know the chances you find in the dungeon will belong to you. Oh, nice. My heroes. Yep. I beg you to help the good souls. Okay. Please defeat Soen. Retrieve the matching weapon. So. I'm going to totally dismiss the heavy accent and the bad writing. All right, let's do it. Okay, it's not the writing, it's probably just the translation. <laughs> not great. But the game looks awesome. So, just going to just going to glaze over all the other stuff. All right. So, we've got our guys over here. This is this is really when it starts to look and feel a lot like with the old school like D&D game here. I'll put up some footage. Awesome. Hopefully I remembered to do that and I didn't just zoom in on my own face because I forgot to do it and there was no time. Uh, it's it's kind of like that here. It's pretty cool. Like I don't understand some of the things like the magic system. It's like you enter a combination and that activates uh, magic. I don't know. What is this place? <laughs> this voice actors. Uh, but it looks good. Duh, duh. There's a torch. You can put it on your I don't like this place. You can put it on your I don't like this place. What's this letter? I found a letter. Somebody put it in their hand and read it. Read it! What? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, read it. What's it say? Pick up the torch. Oh, get, get out of here, letter. We've already learned your lesson. Get back on the floor. All right. Whoops. Okay, hang on. How do I turn? Okay. So if you right click and hold it down, you can look around like a normal boy. But otherwise, it's uh, like a... Oh, right. Put that back in your hand. <laughs> okay, hang on. Feel... Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. Just got to remember the controls. Man, it is dark in here. Somebody give me that club. Put that club in Tordek's hand. Tordek's the one that's going to get good or goodest use out of that. What's going on over here? Let's have a look. See, can I, can I push into this? Ah! Okay, no. Can't do that. Got it. All right. What's that? Oh, boots. Boots. Uh, let's give those to Tordek. Tordek's our powerhouse, so he's going to get all the goodies. Okay, he already put them on. Jeez, Tordek, you're on top of it. Oh, that doesn't sound healthy. Switch. Okay, let's see. What's, what's this way? Hello? 
Oh dear, a dead end. Wait, is that a switch? No, okay. I feel like there's gotta be like hidden rooms here. That totally looks like it. it's wrong. It is! I knew it, it just wouldn't let me click it from this angle. Cool, I did not find this when I played the first time. Okay, here I am jumping into the middle of the action to tell you that I'm breaking it into two parts because it's 40 minutes long. So, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up. Make sure to like and subscribe and leave me a comment down in the comment section down there. Who poured a drink? I heard a gurgling of a drink. Sorry, you won't, you won't hear that probably. Game over. Good game. I like it. It's fun. Developers, keep it up. Just work on the translations and the voice acting would be good too. So, goodbye.